What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today I am very, very excited to be showing you guys what I am going to be getting here today from a subscriber of the channel, Bewildered is his name. You would have seen him in the comments every now and then. He has sent me this beautiful package that I am very, very keen to be opening here on camera today. Uh, my first of many big case hits that I hope to purchase in uh, the future. Let's get this bad boy ripped open. Obviously, the nine packs of team catch after this will remain entertaining. However, I'm super excited to be showing you guys what we're getting here today. I believe it is in a top loading sleeve. So we're gonna be seeing it straight away. But let's make sure we got it on the right side. We need to get it on the right side here. I flipped it over without looking at it because I want the suspense as well. <laughs> we'll open this bad boy up. And here it is. A bad boy, Jack Zeeble Gold Star Wildcard. Wow, <laughs> this looks beautiful. The gold on the card is amazing. Uh, I think the one thing that's a little interesting in person seeing it is the card almost looks off center because of the fact that there's now more gold on the card. Try to get a bit more focus there, but that is a beautiful looking card, this Jack Siebel. Yeah, like I mentioned, the card looks a little off center, but obviously it isn't. The main, um, you know, frame that it usually sits in is in here. Uh, this extra bit is just for the Star Wild card name and all the extra along the side. So very, very nice looking card here. I have no clue whether the card, uh, the card's code has been used, but you can see on the back here, unfortunately, there are a few little dings in that here and there. So maybe I can try and trade for a better one in the future. But nonetheless, I'm just happy to have the card. And from the front, the card looks absolutely fine. There's no dings, nothing like that. So it'll look really, really nice. So now I have myself both the regular Jack Zeeble wild card and the gold wild card Jack Zeeble. So that's beautiful. Hopefully can get myself a Taron Thomas very, very soon. But for the moment, I'm really, really happy with this card. Again, the shine looks incredible. I'm loving the look of it. Uh, and hopefully you guys will be able to pull some stuff like this in the future too, if not trade for it, because stuff like this is awesome. So uh, thank you all for tuning into this first part. Just a beautiful look at the card. And I hope you enjoy the nine packs of team coach we're going to be opening up because they're a good one today. And it is that time of the week again. We got our nine packs of team coach right after our first little clip. And I am super, super excited for this one. I have a good feeling with these nine packs. I'm feeling extra optimistic today for these nine packs of team coach 2022. Obviously, we're always trying to be optimistic. However, this time I really, really feel it. Last week, getting ourselves that Taron Thomas Star Powers. That was awesome. Super, super happy with that. The team star powers, Taron Thomas. Uh, definitely will be keeping that one. But nonetheless, we got ourselves nine packs here. And let's see what we can do here. We have one more guaranteed box here. However, I'm feeling good about these ones. I'm feeling good. I'm hoping within the next two weeks, you guys will see a case hit. I'm hoping at the very least. I'm not guaranteeing it. But I have a good feeling. I have an inkling that maybe it'll be coming soon. We got... Zach Butters, Adam Chera, and we're finding ourselves a Western Bulldogs High Flyers to finally start this one off. Cody Waitman being the one on the front here. We've got ourselves Bailey Dale as well. Tim English and Aaron Norton. I see this one a lot. I see the Cody Waitman a lot. I don't flick through it that much though when I do manage to pull him. And a lot of good marks there. we got Jack Sinclair as well, having a great season. Paddy Dangerfield, Mitch Georgiades, Harry Mackay, and Harris Andrews. All doing big stuff so far, I think, in the season. Uh, I think maybe Georgiades is the only one to kind of have a little bit of a down season. But nonetheless, some decent players, especially Sinclair. Sinclair's had a really, really good start to the season. Uh, but we keep it moving. Uh, hopefully, again, finding ourselves that big hit that I've been talking about. But we start this one off with Will Powell. From Will Power, we got a Brad Crouch, and from Brad Crouch, we got another card craft. It's gonna be a Jaeger O'Meara number one. Liking the look of these card crafts. I think I've already got this Jaeger O'Meara. Still trying to get used to say Jaeger, because a lot of people are saying it's Jaeger, not Jaeger. I'm just used to seeing this and thinking that Jaeger is the right way of pronouncing it. I don't know, man. Dylan Shield, Bailey Dale, Tom Papley, Shannon Hearn, and Megan McDonald. 
It just feels right, man. I hate all the people judging me for it. It gets to me. <laughs> it just sounds right. It just feels right, man. <laughs> we get to the next pack. It just, it, I don't know why, but it, it feels like it should be the way it's said. I don't know. Maybe I'm just hearing things wrong. But we got ourselves Cat Phillips to start this next one off. Luke Ryan and a Silver Star Powers hero, Paddy Dangerfield. Loving the look of this Paddy Dangerfield. One that I haven't seen much today, which uh, at the moment I've seen a lot of similar Star Powers I've seen. That is nice. We've got Trent Cochin, Stephen May, Caleb Sarong, Adam Trelaw, and Will Powell in there as well. Hoping that uh, that won't be <laughs> the, the peak of our. Uh, uh, pack opening today, mispronouncing a Jaeger O'Meara or a Jaeger O'Meara, however you want to say it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care. He's a player in the AFL. That's all I got to say. We got Paddy Dangerfield, uh, Tim Taranto, and a normal star powers, Carl Amon. Got a, uh, he's been playing really, really well. He's actually been one that I use every now and then, doing his thing uh, for the indigenous and multicultural side of the star powers game. We got Taylor Adams, Aaron Hall, Charlie Dixon, Zach Tui, and Gemma. Horton, Houghton. Uh, this this episode's got a load of name mispronunciation stuff like that. It's very frustrating. But Carl Amon has been a uh, regular um, in my team star powers. Sorry, in just my regular star powers. He's been quite the regular occurrence in my team. He's doing really really well. And at the time of recording this, um, star powers in general is something that I'm kind of working on. I'm, I'd imagine my team is looking pretty good now when I, when I record or uh, when this video is uploaded. But Hoping that there's more to come. We got Ben Mackay here to start. Luke Parker and got ourselves looks like a North Melbourne jumping Jaden. I will take that. That's huge. We we'll, we love that. And it's the Spoto one as well. Uh, something really really cool about the jumping Jaden one. Uh, a lot of people obviously he plays for North and you got all these North. Uh, you got all the kangaroos in the back. But you see at the back here little magpies. Uh, kind of a reference to the old team he used to play for. And I really really like that. That's actually. It's something I never really noticed in this one. I've had pulled it before and I've always wondered why there were magpies in the back. Then, kind of after time, realized that it's because he played for the pies beforehand. So that's pretty cool. We've got Jordan Ridley, Riley Philthorpe, Toby Green, Ed Langdon, and Charlie Cameron. Yeah, just something I thought I'd point out because uh, obviously not many people are too keen on the odd bods. They have a lot of historic um, history to them, the odd bods. There's, odd bods have basically been a thing since the 90s. They've been around for a while, but... Odd bods looking really, really nice there. Uh, especially when they're able to hide little Easter eggs like that in them. That's when I really start to appreciate them. But next pack, still not seeing any commons at the front. I'm really, really tired of seeing a lack of commons. It's not been nice to me. We've got ourselves Tom Lynch to start this one. Jordan Dawson and canvas card. We've got ourselves a Jakey Stringer canvas. Nice. The canvas cards feel super flimsy. I think as the years gone on, I've realized these cards are like super easy to damage. And I don't know how more of them haven't turned out damaged as they've gone to me. We've got ourselves Hunter Clark, Nick Natnui, Dylan Moore, Patrick Cripps, and Jamie Stanton. But I don't know how more haven't like arrived to me completely ruined and damaged. Like they look so easy to bend. It's almost like scary. Next pack though. Still really, really hoping to find that. That big pull, that really, really big one. Got ourselves Adam Chalor here to start. Tom Barras and a regular card craft. Number one, Luke Shuey. Everyone, a lot of number twos. Number one, Luke Shuey. Is nice to see for a change. Very, very nice. Hoping to complete some more card crafts. We've got Tommy Lynch, Lucky Hunter, Michael Walters, Elliot Yo, and Matt Flynn. I've watched Michael Walters um, very recently. And although Fremantle have been doing really, really well. He uh, is lacking a lot of confidence. I wish him the best. I just thought I'd point that out. I wish him the best because I like my, Michael Walters uh, when he does play well. And also recently found out that um, Sonny was his nickname, which uh, which was able to kind of let me know that I've been wrong this entire time making fun of his odd bods card. <laughs> his nickname has always been Sonny. I've just been too stupid to understand that. Got ourselves Jasmine Garner here. Lincoln and McCarthy, and we've got ourselves a Team Classic Luke Shuey. Seeing a lot of Luke Shuey now, but a fair bit of him. Uh, we've got Jack Crisp, Jack Viney, Alira Lear, Todd Goldstein, and Ebony Marin up in there as well. As we get to the final pack, can we manage to pull something big here? I'm really, really hopeful that we do. Uh, obviously, can't always choose what we want, but it only gives us nine packs to try and pull ourselves 
our big case here uh, if we do manage to have one and i'd like to do it now please can we please manage to do that not looking good <laughs> not looking good to start uh really really not helpful we got ourselves will day mitch george Yard is another odd bods it is flying ryan the classic flying ryan odd bods that we've all come to know and love that is the last one we got harrison jones tom hawkins sicily mills and dougal howard but that is it unfortunately no big hit today which leaves our box hit to this next week's episode Hopefully it will be a really really nice one. Hopefully a case hit in there too, but again not looking good We got ourselves the flying Ryan oddbots Luke Shuey times two uh, Jakey Stringer canvas the jumping Jaden with a little hint to the magpies some pretty gun star power players Really really nice. Um, Jager Amira Jager Amira that dilemma was great and just a bunch of rambling in between but nonetheless it leaves all our good stuff for the next week's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video however get yourself excited for next week it's gonna be a good one be sure to leave a like on the video here today be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you all in the next one good